Okay, so this is the finished product of what my makeup looks like. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's already getting to be about five o'clock. I wanted to film this earlier because today is Halloween for me. And so I know the <laughs> trick or treaters are gonna be coming and it's gonna get really, really annoying, especially because Chip changed our doorknob to like one of those obnoxious Halloween sounds. So I just, I really, I'm really, I'm really hoping it's not gonna be going off the entire time. I will just warn you now though that um, this one's probably gonna be a long one because we're gonna be going through all of my skincare routine. I'm not gonna be doing all the whole steps with you of my skincare because that would be like a day and a night video and ain't nobody got time for that on this one but I will show you all of the products I use and where I use it and all that jazz but I will be walking you through my entire flight attendant makeup routine what you see every day that y'all have been asking me for also everything will be linked down below for you guys before we jump into that I do have a big announcement to make and that is that my two new cat eye cosmetics makeup products are finally out y'all and I am putting a sale on them straight away I'm, I'm wasting no time because I know the holidays are around the corner and these are both gonna be fabulous gift ideas so I want to be able to give them to you guys they are very very luxury but at an affordable price tag so I'm truly proud of them so the first product is going to be my new cosmetic bag and I am just in love it is so soft and so plush and so luxury so it is an all black velvet so everything I have designed from the stitching down to the material to the black hardware the black logo like everything has been me it is a great bag to pack I've been traveling with it for months I've been trying to hide it from y'all now when you open the bag up straight away I have all three of my eyeshadow palettes in here which I will be getting to in just a minute but I do want to let you know they do fit in here and then down at the bottom is our next product y'all have no idea what I went through to find somebody who could custom make these the idea came into my head one day and I would not budge there are 10 brushes and all of the brushes will be online I'll go into more detail of each brush but for now just to save us some time I'm gonna show you now they are synthetic brushes and there are 10 brushes total in the set again all my cosmetics are vegan and cruelty free now for the big surprise of what these brushes do is they look like this originally and then as you flip them over they all have black glitter inside that moves as you apply them now I do have six small brushes and again just like the face brushes they do the exact same thing. Also, another thing I didn't show you with the bag is there are four pockets on the inside as well. These are great for putting like your compacts, your powders, that sort of stuff inside. But I just love these. I love them all. They apply my makeup beautifully. They're so soft and plush and I'm just so proud. I've been using them for months and months and months, really trying them out, making sure that everything was a good fit and that I was really proud of how everything came together. What I'm gonna do you guys and why I brought out all three eyeshadow palettes besides just showing you that they do fit into the makeup bag is right now if you buy a brush set as well as one of the makeup palettes, which I will show you the palettes one more time. So this is the peach palette and it looks like this. And then I do have a nude palette and this is gonna be the one that we're gonna be using in the makeup tutorial and it looks like this, lots of beautiful colors. And you'll see them in more detail on the website. And then last but not least, I do have my pink palette and it looks just like this and it's really pretty this is also a great one for the springtime but also for the Christmas time because you do see like those reds and stuff in there which are really really pretty if you buy any of the eyeshadow palettes whether it's the nude the peach the pink any of the palettes if you buy one of them as well as a brush set I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the cosmetic bag for free for y'all and like I said right now everything will be launched on the website available right now y'all do not want to miss out on it I don't know how long the sale is gonna be going on on, but as of right now it's happening I wanted a luxury product I wanted something luxurious something expensive looking that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg and be a very affordable price so hopefully you guys are loving it but without further ado let's finally jump into what you're here for and we will start out with my skincare stuff so to get us started I just use these clips to get my hair out of the face these are great because they're not supposed to crease your hair I just bought a pack of them on Amazon that I'll link down below for you guys now I haven't done my skincare yet today except for wash my face 
So y'all are gonna notice I use a lot of Tula products for skincare purposes, which I do have a coupon code that gets you 15% off. I believe you're welcome to use it. You don't have to, completely up to you. But the first product that I use to wash my face is this. So this is like their cult cleanser. This is like their number one product that everybody's obsessed with. And it's amazing. Like I just leave this in my shower to wash my face. But after you use it, your skin just feels like, it feels so buttery soft. It just feels like baby skin. And then I also have this product as as well so I bought this at the Incheon airport when I was there and this is just like a collagen stick and I like to use this before bed oh and I do also get Botox and the reason, <laughs> the reason, the reason I'm saying that because I know some of you are gonna be like how that was like left field but I cannot stand I cannot stand when people drop their skincare routine but don't drop their injector. So I have chin filler, lip filler, and I get Botox done every four to five months. I get a preventative amount and I go to Miss Ona at North Texas Plastic Surgery in South Lake. And you guys, if y'all book her out and I can't get appointments anymore, I'm gonna be absolutely livid. Y'all have no idea I will be livid, but I will drop you who I go to. So, and, and the only reason I'm even saying that is just because I do think Botox makes your skin look nice. It really does. There's, there's just no way around it. So yeah, I just, I feel like y'all deserve to know. I'm also gonna be going in with some Bliss Text right now. I like to do this at the beginning so my lips can be moisturized because I do my lipstick last usually. And then I also like to keep these in my bag as well. So these are just little cloud patches. I pick these up at CVS. You can also get like some on Amazon. You can get them anywhere, like little salicylic acne patches. So they're great if you have like a spot. So you just put them on, you go to sleep and it helps improve like your acne spots overnight. I keep um, some teeth whiteners in here as well. And then now for the products that we're actually going to be using. So to kick us off, I'm gonna be using Tula brightening vitamin C drops. I did not know this until y'all told me that you are supposed to start with your most like liquidy products and then move into like the thicker stuff later. I learned that from you guys like a few months back and thank you for letting me know. I've really I really appreciate that. Now the next product I'm gonna be using is Tula's 24 seven moisturizer. And I like to just use like a little bit of this and just kind of Dot here, dot here, and then like that. There we go. That is good because when you are flying, your skin gets so dry. Now this next product, if you guys know, you know, I have like drilled it and slammed it down your throat. I do not care, you need it. This is my favorite. This is also my favorite in the Tula line and that is their sunscreen. Now, if you don't know, I actually had a skincare scare just a couple months back. I went to go get checked. I try to get checked every year and um, I finally came back with an abnormality. So they had a mole biopsy that came back abnormal, obviously. And then they had to go back in just a couple weeks ago and remove more of it and it hurts so bad. It's like on the back of my leg and I just accidentally hit it on everything. And this sunscreen in particular, I don't know if you can tell, but okay, here, you can see it right here. So you can see it has like a nice little shimmer to it and it just adds like so much youth into your skin and it sits beautifully under my makeup because I've used skincare stuff that I've liked, but if it doesn't work under my makeup, there's no point because I wear my makeup all the time. The last product I like to use is my lip scrub. So this is my coconut lip scrub. It is completely organic. And I just go ahead and do one of these and get rid of any dry skin and moisturize because I love to use my matte liquid lipsticks. Now you can either Lick it off, it is a sugar scrub, or just wipe it off, mm, it tastes good. <laughs> so we are all prepped and now time to get primed. Okay, so the primer I'm gonna be using with you guys today is this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, but let me just be honest. I do not love this primer. I am only using it because I bought it and I just wanna use the rest of it, but I will not be buying it again. I bought it because a lot of people said it was the dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which that is my primer. That is my tried and true. I am obsessed with that primer. It just lays beautifully on my skin and makes my makeup last forever and I love it. And a lot of people said that this is a dupe for it. They said it's very affordable. So I bought into the hype because it looked like it and I was like, all right, great. This is what we're gonna be using. And y'all, it's not the same. I don't care what anybody says, at least for as far as what I'm putting on my face, it is not the same. It just doesn't, your makeup doesn't last the same as the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I just go ahead and take a few pumps of this and I put it 
all over my skin. Now it is tacky and it does fill in your pores. I just don't think it, it lasts. It doesn't keep my makeup lasting as long as the Milk Hydrograt Primer. But anyways, for the foundation, I like to use a beauty sponge. I did already wet this and, and drained it out so it's nice and damp. I carry it around in my little beauty blender holder. That way it doesn't get like all up in my cosmetic bag and get it all nasty. And I'm going to be using this NARS foundation in the shade Fiji. And I am obsessed, obsessed with this foundation. I just think it is so beautiful. Now it is like a more liquidy type of formula, but I love this one. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it all over our face and our neck. Now I do try not to put so much product underneath my under eye. And since I'm gonna be going in with concealer, I'm not gonna be putting a ton of it under my eye. I might go to about here, but as far as like really going under there, I'm not gonna do it because the more product you use, the more likely your under eye is going to crease. Okay, so I think that is good. Now the next product I'm gonna be going in with is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now e.l.f. also has a 16 hour camo concealer. These are not the same. The other one dries really, really fast. People were saying that it was a dupe for the Shape Tape Concealer. It's not, it dries so fast and the product like really does not move. And you have to just be very, very careful when you're working with it. Otherwise it comes out so patchy. This one's not patchy and it's easy to move. So I just put a little bit here, a little bit here, and then a little bit on my chin because I like the same reason I get chin filler to make my chin look a little bit further forward because anything you're highlighting is gonna come forward. That way my chin looks a little bit more, more even with my facial profile. My injector did tell me I'm not gonna be able to get any more chin filler without doctor permission from my rheumatologist because of my rheumatoid arthritis. Apparently your RA can attack hard fillers. So like jaw, chin, and people who get like cheek fillers and stuff, it can attack that. And that's why she's like, you have to have doctor permission. My doctor's really old school, so I don't know that he's gonna approve that. Now, when I do my concealer, we're going up. So I just put it here, but I go this way. We're gonna blend it up. You don't need a lot of concealer. A little bit goes a long way. And when I go up, I try to go up like this because we're creating like a mini facelift of illusions. So I'll just take it and I go towards the nose and then we go up. Now, when I go in with powders, I actually use two completely different powders. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. This is the Perfect Finish HD powder and it's just like a, oh no, it broke. Okay, well that was a nice surprise. It's just like a white powder. It must have broke. I came back from London yesterday, so it must have broke when I was coming back. And then I also use the L'Oreal Infallible Powder. Now, I like to use this one anywhere that I laid my foundation, and I like to use this one anywhere that my concealer was, because this one doesn't really have like a color to it, whereas the Infallible Powder, it is a full coverage powder, it, this will come out with a color. So I like to keep everything where I highlighted it a little bit lighter than where I didn't. So I just go ahead and take this brush right here and I'll go in with my new broken powder. Love that for me. I love to use this brush specifically for that because the way that it's angled, it like actually gets in to the crevices. So I can set all the way into the inner corner. Now you don't wanna use a lot of product as this will cause creasing. So if you're prone to creasing at the, at the corners of your eyes, the less product, the better. And that's with creams and with powders both. And sometimes I'll even just take my fingers just to warm it up and like melt anywhere close. So I don't get a lot of creasing under the eye. And then I take just a little bit more and do my chin. Now I will take this exact same brush and go in. And again, like I said, with my brushes, you can decide. You decide what you wanna use it for. It's completely up to you. And here's where I'll go over anything that where the foundation was. Now the next thing I like to do is contour, but I like to use a bronzer to add like more warmth to my face because a lot of times contours are like cool tones, which add more definition, more hollowness, but I don't like to do both. I think that's when it starts getting a little, a little messy. I like to just use something that's a little bit warmer. So this is my Tarte Hotel Heiress. And then I like to go in with 
this brush right here. This also makes a great blush brush if you'd rather use it for that. And I just take a little bit. Now something I've learned along the way, a trick of the trade is I like to stipple this on. So to do like one of these, I don't like to just rub it. And that's where you'll really start seeing patchiness as if you stipple it, it helps blend some of that so you don't really see it. And then I go right to where the bone is. And instead of going under it, cause that'll drag our face down, I'm gonna go on it. So I'm gonna go along it. So we're going right here. So I like to bronze up right here, right here, and right here to start us off. And the other thing is it's great because this product is very buildable. You can start with a little bit and really just add as you go. And we're gonna be blending, so don't, don't freak out for me. If you guys have ever seen my makeup before, it'll be fine. You know it's, it's gonna come together in the end. I have an oval face, but sometimes it looks round, especially when I smile, it just starts it starts getting wider. So that's why I like to do a little bit more bronzing here to also still kind of bring it in. Cause my face shape, it changes sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, I have a round face shape. And then other times I'm like, no, it's, it's oval. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna go under, not on the line, but under the jaw. So there you go. Now I'm gonna take my small brush that's gonna look like this one. Oh, my camera battery's about to die, but this is a brush I'm gonna do and I'm gonna change the battery and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so we're taking the small brush and then I'm gonna go back in with this and I'm gonna contour my nose. Now for my nose contour, I take just a little bit, knock the excess off, and then instead of contouring towards the side, I'm gonna contour on it. So it's the same as like the cheekbone. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use this mirror. I'm gonna go on the nose, can you also see that? And I start here, and then you can blend into it if you would like. So a tip I learned that if you wanna make it look like you've had a nose job but you haven't, it looks, the pinched part of a nose job is like usually here and here. So you'll go in and you just do one of these. You bronze up here, and then I kind of blend it together. And then on the on the sides. Sometimes when I'm doing makeup, it just feels like I'm Bob Ross, you know, just having happy accidents everywhere and you just have to go back and fix it. Like, oh, it's just, there's supposed to be a bird there, no big deal. And then I like to go back in and just kind of blend lightly. So I like to take a little bit of this and just put a light shadow underneath my lip. It's just gonna make them look a little bit more voluptuous because like, as you can see, as the light is above me and it's sitting down, there's a shadow right here. So I just wanna create a little bit of a, a shadow there even when there's not a shadow there. I'm losing a little bit of a daylight here. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I can definitely notice. I should have planned out the timing of this video a bit better, but anyways. Okay, so I've done that. Now I do know some people also like to take this and put a shadow above their top lip as well to make the top look look bigger. I personally don't like to do this because every time I've done it, it looks like I got a mustache. Okay, so next step for me, I like to go in with blush. This is Mandarin Kiss. I like to take this angled brush right here, and I like to use this as my blush brush. Now this one, she gets crazy, so you gotta watch out for her. She gets heavy handed really fast. I just, I like to start light. You can always build, but you can't, you can't take away, except you can kind of throw this on and hope for the best. I'm layering it a little bit above where my bronzer is, but kind of some of it on top of the bronzer. Now, I know some people like to do blush in the apples. Some people like to do like that sun kiss look. Like the blush can change your face shape as well. For me, because I have like that oval to round face shape, I like to just do things that contour it and slim it down. And that's why I like my blush here versus here. After I do my blush, I like to go in with this Sigma Glow Kissed Palette. And it has different shades in there. Honestly, I'm way too fair skinned for basically all of this. I, I use these two. This is like more of like a white champagne and this is more of like a gold tone, but like lighter, softer. Now I like to take this brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here and then just go on top and into the blush. 
So we're just going, I literally go here and into the blush and blend it in. Now that we've got all the powders in place other than eyeshadow, this is the time when I like to go in with a setting spray. I like to do it now rather than once I've got my eyeliner, my mascara and things that can press and then I've got a mess and then I've got to clean it up. So I like to just spray it and set it before I start getting into all of that. Now the one I'm going to be using today is the Wet n Wild. This is the natural finish setting spray, but I also really like an e.l.f. one. I go back and forth between the two. This one smells really good. I don't know which one sets better if I'm, if I'm being honest. Maybe the e.l.f. And then... I go in with my beauty blender just a little bit and lightly, lightly press. And then I like to go in with a fan and just set anything, anything else. So now that the face is basically done, we're gonna be moving into the eyes. So the next thing I like to do is go in with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is the shade Espresso. Now, another great thing about my eyeshadow palettes is they do have a mirror on them as well. So I'm gonna just be using this, that way I can get a little bit closer. Now, when I do my brow gel, I don't, I don't hit the tip. I leave the tip alone because that's where people get really, really, really harsh is like when they start doing this and then they get like the block brow. We don't wanna drag anything down. We always wanna go up and out. So even at the tips, you just take it lightly and kind of just go a little bit upward. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but just a little bit more up. We always wanna go up. I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the bigger one. So you're gonna notice there is a smaller brush that has a very similar shape to it, but this is the bigger one of the two. And I'm gonna go in and mix you can already see I've hit pan, but I'm gonna go in and mix these two together. And I just put it all over, except for right under, under the brow. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, also working my way towards pan. And I'm gonna go and put this one with the same brush. And I'm gonna put it starting right where you see it start kind of going down where you see that shadow. I'm gonna just blend it across here ever so lightly, starting on the outside and going inward. Now, another thing is when you're doing eyeshadow is you kinda of wanna keep it right in this zone, cause again, you don't wanna do anything too low that's gonna drag. And if you go a little bit low, you can always take this good old thing and kinda of just go over like where the concealer was again, or some people like will put tape down. Sometimes I've done tape um, to keep it when I really want like a sharp, a sharp look to it. Next, I'm gonna take my angled brush right here and I'm gonna go into this shade down below right there. Now this one, I'm gonna hit the outer corner right in this area right here. Just like that. Now, once I'm here, I like to go back with that other brush and then I'm gonna just blend this up and over. Now, there's gonna be two brushes that are flat brushes like this. One is gonna be bigger and one is going to be smaller. So using the super small one, I'm gonna go back in with my highlight and then just highlight my nose Right, put a dot here and then a small line here. And I'm in that same shade that I did my, my cheekbone contour with as well. Now I'm gonna take the larger brush right here. So the same flat brush, but the bigger one. And I'm gonna go into the white shade right in the corner. And I'm gonna take just a little bit and put it under the brow. And that's gonna clean the brow up and really just make it, make it pop. When I travel, I usually just travel with these two and that's it. But, 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 if you have the peach palette or the pink palette, 
I tried to switch up the shades so there weren't the same shades in the palette, but this shade was so beautiful, I put it in both. So it's gonna be this one right here on both palettes. This is the most beautiful color, and this palette is great for weddings as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you just to show you, but sometimes I'll use, if I don't have just like the one palette, sometimes I'll use this color instead to do this, but it is not the same. I promise you there's something special about this color in particular. And then I'm gonna put it at the lid right here for the first half. I swear this is like the prettiest color. This color is also really, really pretty if you like to highlight your inner corners. It's also gorgeous on the brow bone as well. And just like to do a little bit right there. And you know what, because I've already dipped into it, I'm gonna just go ahead and put just a little bit, just right in the middle, right where the highest arch part of the brow is. Now, I actually like to go in with two different eyeliners. So for the upper lid on the outside, I like to use the Maybelline Master Precise in black. And then for the inner part of the lid, I like to use the Infallible Pro Last Long. So I love a good winged liner. So I actually like to start, I gotta use the mirror a little bit closer to me. Um, I like to start on the eye that I'm not the best at because then I can match it a little bit easier on the other eye. And I start with the wing. Now I like to go in with the other eyeliner that I was showing you and I go into the liquid line with this one. Never like stop your eyeliner too short. Like even if you don't want a wing, take it all the way to the end of your eye because if you stop it too short, it actually ages your face. So make sure you're taking it all the way in to elongate your eyes instead of shortening them and stopping like too far inward. So next I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is just the Maybelline Falsies. I really don't care about the mascara. I just like this one because the shape of the brush when I do the bottom of my lashes, it doesn't put mascara all the way along where like I concealed or anything. It really just keeps it on the lashes, which I like. But I am gonna use false lashes, so I don't care about how much growth this adds to my lashes or anything anything like that. I just want to make them black so they blend perfectly into my false lashes and get off any like eyeshadow that may have gotten on them. Next, I'm going to be taking my lashes. These are my Siamese lashes and I'm going to be trimming them to fit my eye shape and then I'm going to use my Kiss lash adhesive so this is the brush i don't like the ones where it has like where you squirt it i like the brush you have so much more control over how much you use so i just trimmed off like three little sections from the front of the lash usually i actually trim the back but this time i was like i'm gonna just trim the front and then i like to do like this and just kind of go back and forth to break up the lash band now i take my lash applicator and where the bump is if it's on the outside it'll be this eye and then for this eye, i like to switch it so the bump is on this side so i can hold it like this so i go ahead and grip it with my lash holder and then i like to take my lash glue and just put a little bit of glue right on top until basically it looks like this that's how much lash glue i like to use and then i like to wait about 15 to 20 seconds before i put it on and then you want to go in from up not straight on go a little bit up and then i try to line it up and then press down And so once it's on, I go in with my finger and just press down, make sure everything's nicely put in place. Okay, now last but not least is going to be the lips. Now I'm gonna go in with my lip liner. This is the shade Duchess, as well as my lipstick Kitten. I put on the website which lip liner I think pairs best, which the lip lipstick of mine. I love to do a nice ombre lip. So that's what we are gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go in with my liner Duchess and I'm gonna overline my lips just a little bit and then I'm gonna fill it in completely with my lip liner. And this is gonna create a better way to do an ombre lip that blends a little bit better. I'm starting to already hear all the, the trick-or-treaters going on. I'm like, oh no. Okay, so I think that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take Kitten and just a little bit, I'm gonna put it in the middle of my bottom lip. So just like this.
Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna go back in with my lip pencil and just blend the outer corners. So we are completely done. I'm gonna take my hair down. Let me see if I can get you guys in to better lighting so you can see everything with a little bit more more detail. Okay, so this is the finished product of what my makeup looks like. So if you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.